What's going on, everybody? If you've been thinking about trying to get that film look that you get from traditional cameras, traditional film cameras, then I've got a video for you. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a plugin called Dehancer that connects to Adobe Lightroom Classic. And I'm gonna be going through some of my photos that I just took with my Canon R8, and we're gonna be using the Dehancer plugin to see what kind of film emulation we can get. Playing around with Lightroom Classic, you can get close to film looks and adding grain, but this Dehancer plugin is like no other. It really does a fantastic job of emulating that film look that is very, very unique. So we're gonna jump right into Lightroom Classic and we're gonna be editing some of my favorite photos that I took this past weekend. And let's just jump right into it. Like any new program that you try to learn, I've uh, spent some time fiddling with some of these dials, moving them to the left and moving them to the right, just to see what the extremes do. And I gotta say that Dehancer is incredibly sophisticated. So we're gonna jump right into the photos here. Um, Dehancer in the website, it says that it works best when you're already making some pre-processing when you do a little bit of pre-processing. I've selected 22 of my favorite images from this past weekend. I chose them because of the composition and just the uniqueness of inside the photo. And we're gonna just, uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. So I've set, I've touched on all of these and I've, the only thing that I've done uh, just to make the edit a little bit faster is that I've hit the auto button on all of them all of these are raw images and you may notice that there's not much editing done to them except for basic adjustments. And I did that by hitting the auto button, the auto adjust that's found over here. You can see it's grayed out. And I've already installed Dehancer as the plugin here. And to get to it, you have to right click on a photo down here and then you, and then after that you go to edit in and then you hit edit in Dehancer Lightroom. It'll ask you edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. That's what I'm looking for. It turns, so Dehancer, the plugin is gonna ask you to turn everything into a TIFF file and you can see that it's already selected here and you hit edit afterwards and then Dehancer is going to execute. I'm going to make this big. This is the original photo here. This is my cat, Miss Nuvez. And just walking through here, there's all presets selected. You can go to what the Dehancer team, there's a few that are selected there. Uh, but we're just going to go to all presets and you'll be able to see that there is a lot over here on this slider. 63, it looks like there might be more than 63 now as of this recording. But let's just go and select the Dehancer team, one of their favorites, and just uh, we'll go through a couple of them. So you'll see in this photo that there's a lot of grain in these photos already just added. But what makes this unique in my opinion, what really makes this unique is that the grain isn't monochromatic. Whereas in Lightroom Classic, when you add grain, it doesn't give you these kinds of colors that you're seeing here. You can see that the grain is a little bit of green, magenta, and it has a unique, unique color. You can see that Ms. Nuvez here needs, definitely can use some grooming. Uh, let's continue on. See, I like this one a little bit better because the grain isn't as intense. I always believe that less is more, especially when you're adding grain or you're adding really any kind of preset. If you take this off, you can see that the just the aqua, the Agfa Color 100 is fantastic. And we'll just click through a couple of these and just right off the bat, 
some of these are fantastic this one looks cool the fuji chrome velvia you'll have to forgive me that my film knowledge is very very limited so i'm just reading off of what this dehancer plugin says and i'm just clicking through them because i'm learning this software along with you guys these black and whites are, are really nice. I think there's a little bit of green here. And it just looks so cool. Some of these look just tremendous. I think my favorite so far is definitely this one. Kodak Ektar. I'm going to write this down so I can remember it. Kodak Ektar 25. Ektar 25, that was great. There was another one up here. This one looks really cool. Fuji Chrome. Velvia. There was a black and white that was a little green. Was it this one? No, I would think it was. I think it was this one. Kodak Eastman. So those are those are fantastic. I think I'm gonna to go to with Kodak Electar. Ektar, Kodak Ektar. 25. So that this just it just looks beautiful, right? So these over here on this side are gonna be the presets that uh Dehancer has selected as the Dehancer team's favorites, is what is is what uh, it looks like to me. And then over here you can still make some adjustments fine-tune adjustments but when you're going through these you can see that there is one over here called halation and the halation I think is one of my favorite favorite things because it's it's just cool it's just neat it's the original photo and this is the the fixed this is the original photo and this is the edited version. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay and this is gonna save a TIFF file. It's gonna close it and it's gonna create a TIFF file. Let's go on to the next one, right click, edit in, edit. This is the original here, and this is the edited. Let's see what these look like. I think I, I'm gonna play with the halation on this one here just to see what it does. Yeah, that's cool. Not too much. And then preview it. Yeah, it makes it nice and moody. Let's try the Kodak Ektar. Let's go through a couple more of these.
kind of excited for this one, see what this one looks like. Oh yeah. So this is the original. And let's uh, let's just go through a couple of these. So that looks <laughs> uh, it just adds a lot of a lot of dimension, a lot of uh, texture. You know, these are these are pretty neat. That one is no good to me. That one's beautiful. This one's really great. I like this one. What is that one? Fuji Chrome. Fuji Chrome Velvia. 50. This one's really nice. This one's gorgeous. I like this black and white one right here. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, <laughs> but I, it's perhaps you can do something like this in Lightroom, but the way these do look very unique, they do look very unique. And I, I really don't think I'd be hard pressed to see if you could come up with something that resembles this. Also, you really have to consider the quality of the camera that you're using to take these photos, because when you're doing film emulation, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot to, when you're doing, you know, when you're using a film camera, just my perception of it is that it has a really nostalgic kind of look, a very unique look that is difficult. First, the source image needs to be really, really good. And the sensor that the camera has also needs to be of high quality. So... I don't think that if I take my phone and I were to take this exact same photo with my cell phone, which is a very good camera as well, you wouldn't be able to get this kind of depth, this kind of bokeh. Uh, the, all of these photos were taken with my Canon R8 and these were taken with the 35mm f1.8 STM lens. So not the best lens in the world, fantastic, one of my favorite lenses, but it isn't one of my L premium lenses. and there's just something to to these photos that man that just look really great you know this one is i think i might do this one in a couple in a couple versions that one's a little green I don't know. I think I like this one. Hit okay. It there's something there's something here. There's something definitely here. I'm gonna have to go back and get find out where these photos are being uh, saved to. They're probably being saved, but they're not being stars, so they're not showing up here. So I'll have to go in and and get them after. So um, I'll show you here after this. After we get through a couple more of these. See, look, I have a bunch of presets here. So let me see if I have any kind of film black and white presets. I think I may have some film portrait. Let's see what this one does. This one looks good. Yeah, these are, it's still, it's still pretty good, but let me see. Let's try this one. Oh, hold on. Let me go back. Control Z. Let me create a virtual copy of this one. And then try this one. That was really cool. And then try to go to the detail. So let's increase the grain. Good. Okay, so now let's go back to the original photo and edit in Dehancer. Let's 
Sisti. So looking at these, they they still look they still look great. But let's try and find where the grain is. Film grain size amount. Hit OK on it. We'll see what the uh, we'll see what this looks like afterwards. It's pretty good. Let's keep it moving. Let's see if we can edit this one. Edit in. Ooh, this one's cool. That is neat. This one looks nice too. Fuji Fuji Rila 5000. What is it called? Fuji Real uh, 500D. This one looks cool. Oh, this one looks like there's some nice halation on it. So let's see if we can. I like saying that's a fun word, right? Halation. Amplify. That's neat. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, these. This is just. It's just awesome. You know, I think the what I'm learning with this program, with this plugin, is that it really comes down to the um, the source image. So depending on the quality of your camera and your skill as a photographer, you can really make uh, a really nice base image, a raw image turn it into a TIFF file, a TIFF file, and then put it into this Dehancer plugin and get some fantastic results. Some results that I'm really impressed by and I'm gonna be doing a, a quick little montage here of some of these photos so that you can see. Uh, so that one looks nuts, right? <laughs> uh, but let's see, let's go through. Yeah, these look just super retro. You know, like, uh, I think I like that first one. This one was Adox Color Implosion. That's a neat one. I think that's where I'm going to go with. So it's, it looks to me like there's, you know, there's in film, there's imperfections. And... This is a cool one. Kodak Vision 3. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side with these photos so that you can see uh, you can see the end result with them here at the very end. Um, I'm, I'm really excited with these. These are super cool. See if we can find another one. I think this one might be a cool one. Yeah, this one might be cool. Edit in. 
Oh, the one thing that if I had to be critical of this application dehancer of this plugin is that it is a little cumbersome and it doesn't let you batch edit. So I can't take uh, my raw uh, my raw files. So I can't take my raw files and import a whole SD card into this program. I you have to use you have to import everything into Adobe Lightroom Classic, and then from there you have to uh, edit them one by one. Which, in terms of workflow, it's not ideal. But if you have a, a, a couple of select photos that you want to do this with, or you're trying to do a small uh, project and you're not working in you know thousands of photos, it might be it might be just fine for you. But keep that in mind that you do have to work on these one by one. So yeah, I'm just going through these uh, and just looking at them one by one. I tend to like the ones that look like like we're taken in the like the 80s or early 90s maybe even before that make like this one looks cool Orwo Orwo Chrome I think I'll stick with this one Oh, this one has a guy in it. Let's see if our will chrome looks good here. That one looks cool with the halation. Yeah, that's just off the bat, just from the... There's a little sun star over here, a little sun flare. That's neat. You know what this would be good for is selecting like a couple of um, um, photo uh, wedding photography photos, like a couple of select images. That'd be pretty neat. Actually, I have a, a, a wedding that I did recently that I might do, do something like that with... Um, yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. But if you guys uh, are enjoying this video and want to see some more of my photos edited with this Dehancer plugin, consider following me on social media. I'll link them down in the description, and you can also see them uh, right here uh, popping up on the screen. Don't be a stranger. Say hello, uh, or you know, add me as a, add me as a friend. I always love meeting new people and other creatives online, so consider following me on TikTok and on Instagram. Also consider subscribing to this channel if you thought this video was helpful. I'll have some, some notes here at the very end with some uh, final conclusions. Let's see what this one looks like with the sun. <clears throat> You know, you try to like lens correct for these kinds of like fringing and stuff. Like nowadays you see these, this red on the outline where there's a dark contrast versus what's in the background, all this red stuff. Lenses nowadays try to correct for all of that. But in this is very intentional. It's, it's a whole look. I like the Arwo. Yeah, this one looks, this one looks super neat. I'm not doing any other editing besides, uh, oh, this one would be cool with the New York sign. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah. 
definitely cool. It's neat. Oh, this one might be cool. If you guys want to take a closer look at these image consider following me on social media on instagram i'm going to be posting all of these pictures and you can definitely have a closer look at uh at these edits so you can really see what it is that i'm talking about on a youtube video you might not be able to see exactly what it is that that i mean with the richness of the photo or the vintage look with the it's just neat it's just neat you know, I, I when I was uh, walking and I saw this building, it really reminded me of um, just an old timey picture, you know, with an old school building standing alone next to these uh, um, luxury apartments over here. It's kind of neat. Let's see, Orwell. Let's try one with like a, a massive amount of grain like these ones just to see. File compression. I don't even know how to raise the uh, raise the uh, the exposure on this thing. <clears throat> Picture of a cat. See what this looks like. Edit in. So let me know down in the comments which of these photos you thought was. Um, so let me know down in the comments which of these photos you like the most and uh, if you'd be willing to try uh, something like this. Now I have to say that Dehancer is a premium product and they do have a free trial for you to try out for two weeks. There's a link down in the description where you can take advantage of that. And if you decide that you love it, consider using my promotional code TMV at checkout and you'll get an additional 10% off of your purchase. And uh, let me know how you like it. Like I said, I think it's pretty neat. I think it's very unique that you're able to get this kind of texture and this kind of feel. And the grain looks unique. Wow, that's a neat one right there. Let me do a black and white on this cat. Let's see. Is there a green one? Yeah, that's pretty neat. He's got like a nibbed ear here. <laughs> now, if I had to be super critical of this plugin, Dehancer, I would have to say that it is a little bit cumbersome. I wish that I could grab 10 or 20 of my selects from my, uh, my entire day and import them all into this plugin and then edit them as I go. But I have to go, the workflow is that I have to go back into Lightroom and select and send everything over to Dehancer, which makes the workflow a little bit cumbersome if I'm being honest. But I'm learning that with this kind of workflow, you'll have to be, I don't think that it's a deal breaker. I think this one might be cool with the fire truck. Let's see. It might be like an old school vibe. See, I want this one to be a little bit more green. Oh, that's neat though. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, this one's neat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add the effect, the Dehancer effect here, and then I'm going to find them in Adobe Lightroom and I'll crop them over there. But I liked one of these ones. Which one was it? I have to remember the name. This one right here. Fuji, it, Fuji Eterna Vivid. Just got a couple more photos here. This one or this one. I think this one was better. I 
Now I am using a pretty beefy computer. I don't know what kind of uh, processing power you would need to get this sort of uh, to get this plugin running smoothly on any other uh, any other kind of computer, but it seems to be running quickly. But I do hear my fans kicking up on my on my computer, so there are some system requirements that I would encourage you to look into before you uh, you make your final purchase. And one more of Miss Nuvez. Let's see what we, uh, this is a good photo of her. Let's see what Miss Nuvez looks like if she was born in the 80s. That's neat. That's, that's freaking cool, man. The grain just looks so so smooth. Again, I, I have to keep saying that it a lot of it I think has to do with the quality of the original source file. So I don't know what this would look like if you were doing uh, cell phone photography, and I have to mention that because the mobile photography, as far as long as it's come, it's come a long way. Don't get me wrong, but it still doesn't hold a it still can't hold its own to a full frame sensor. I liked all of these. <laughs> I think if I had to pick one, it would be this. This one's a little green. I like the grainy one. Let's do this one. All right, so now let's go into the library and let's see if we can find all of these other photos so we can five star them and we can look at them side by side. I think that would be really, really cool. So yeah, next time what I'm gonna do is make a virtual copy. Here we go. All right, so here is uh, the original photo of this one and I added the dehancer filter and or the dehancer preset this is the original and it this one didn't have that much of an effect but you'll see the as we as I go through these you'll you'll notice the um, the changes in the the changes in the photos this is the original file of Miss Nuvez right here, and I added one of the Hensers presets just to give it that grain. This is the original file of Fuzzy Miss Nuvez here. And this is the edit. This one was super cool, I think. The original and the edited. So this is the original photo, the raw file. This is the Dehancer edited one. And this is the Lightroom preset edited one. Let me know down in the comments if you guys notice any kind of significant difference or if it's just me that's really gushing over this old school kind of look. You know, this right here is the original of this, uh, of this image. And then you can see the halation for all of these. It's just a cool look. You know, it's, it's pretty unique. I don't think I did anything with these ones. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. This is the original. And this is the edited version. And I think this one over here had a guy in it. You can see the, the biker with the helmet. Oh, 
don't think I did anything here. Original. Edited with Dehancer. The original. They just all look to me like they were taken in the 80s and 90s. And if that's a look that you're going for, then this is definitely a plugin that's worth worth looking into. This is the original. This is the edited. So there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. If you want to explore this uh, plugin, I encourage you to visit the links down in the description below. Get yourself a free trial and check it out. The install process to add this plugin to Lightroom um, isn't just a plug and play. You have to go through a couple of um, uh, PDFs to follow the instructions and get it all set up correctly. So it's not, you know, just plug and play. It does take a little bit of time to, to get used to. And another critical thing, if I want to be critical of the Hanser, I'd have to say that if this was a standalone application that made the work streamlined and made my workflow a lot faster, I'd be more inclined to use it and have more favorable uh, things to say about it in terms of the workflow. Um, but if you can get past that and you're all right with just having a select 20, 30 photos that you've already kind of made some pre-processing edits to and some basic adjustments and then one by one pop them into the Dehancer plugin, then this, this plugin is definitely going to interest you because it gives you a very unique look. I think one of my favorite ones was probably the ones of Miss Nuvez over here. These are super cool i really enjoyed this one right here that's just a cool look and then some of you know this one this black and white one with the grain i don't know that just looks that just looks really neat so stay tuned a little stay tuned all the way to the end of this video and i'm gonna play a quick little montage of all of these photos side by side so that you can get a better look at them and i'll zoom in so you can see some of the finer details in them uh you can see the halation on on this one and again it's just a super cool look and i can already see that like a wedding photographer or some i did do have a couple of weddings uh shot already that these would look fantastic just to have that unique look old school old timey look old timey you know what i mean but i am going to be posting these images on my instagram so consider following me on my social media platforms i always follow back and i always uh uh check out your guys's work because i love learning from from all of you Lastly, I want to say thanks to Dehancer for giving me the opportunity to review their product. And they didn't ask me to say anything favorable about them. They just asked me to basically give me, uh, they, they asked me, all that they asked of me was to give an honest review. And they actually said in the email, the representative that I was talking to said, they're always looking for feedback from photographers. So to just be as honest as you can. And I think that's what I did. That's what I tried to do here. This Dehancer, again, is a premium product. Try out the free trial. Let me know if you like it. And once you're ready to make a purchase, consider using my promo code TMV for an additional 10% off of your purchase. That's going to do it for me today, guys. Until next time, adios. Yeah, there's nothing really, nothing really to dislike. That's pretty good. Miss Nuvez looks. Miss Nuvez looks pretty good here.